Right guys, this is round two of recording this video. I got 10 minutes in and realized that I didn't write out one of these slides, but I love the adversity. I love the challenge. We live and we learn, baby. Let's just get into it. Now, this is going to blow your mind. I should be charging a lot of money for this because even the courses that I've taken where I've paid a grand, two grand, they go, they don't give as much value as you're about to get. So I don't know if you see me in the future and you go through this video and you know it adds value, then buy, buy me an iced Americano. You, you owe me that. Okay. So this is what everyone misses. This fundamental protocol that is going to transform your life. All right. That's what it's going to do. You're going to get so much freaking value out of this. I want you to take action on this. I want you to take notes and then leave a comment saying that you're going to buy me an iced coffee. Okay. So let's just freaking get into it, shall we? So we're going to cover <clears throat> why you haven't made 10 K a month yet. We're going to talk about how this process is going to transform your life, blah, 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 but transform your life as it's done for mine, as it's done for my one-to-one -one clients. And then we're going to go through the five-step process. I'm going to break this down, understand removing weakness, getting the freaking dialed in. Okay. Adversity and how that's a beautiful, beautiful thing become unbreakable. Okay. And then finally the action steps to implement this process into your life. This is going to be a banger. Put your freaking seatbelts on guys. So let's take it back a bit. I, I don't want to come in from like a high and mighty point of view where it's like, Oh, I'm doing this, but it took me like four years of having a business to make my first 10 K a month. And that is a long, long time. When you see all these YouTubers like, Oh, make your first 10 K in 30 days. Like it took me four years and I learned a lot. I learned a lot about who I am. I learned a lot about my weaknesses, my downfalls, and then. I turn them into my strengths. Okay. Now YouTubers miss this. They go straight to, oh, oh, this is the strategy. This is the method. This is the content that you need to put out. But if you don't have this protocol dialed in, then you're not going to, you're not going to succeed. Okay. That could be for a number of reasons. You could have the negative self-talk. You could la lack consistency, like the discipline. This protocol is going to solve all of that for you. So for whatever business model you are in e-commerce, personal brand, coaching, SMMA, whatever it is, you will succeed based upon this protocol. Okay. This is like the fundamental. This is step one. This is before you even think about an online business. If you have one, great. This is going to take you to the next level. If you don't have one freaking perfect, this is going to take you to the next level. Okay. And then when you have this process dialed in like me, like my mentorship clients, everything just becomes effortless. Everything becomes easy. Okay. So like I say, firsthand, I, I built this protocol. I tested things. I failed. I made mistakes. I learned, and this is going to transform your life. I should be freaking charging for this. I should have a stripe link below, but you're getting this all for free because I'm a legend. All right. If you go on my Instagram stories, you'll see that every day I post when I wake up 415. Okay. Straight on the Instagram stories. I'm showing you that this is legit. That I do this day in day out because I've got this dialed in. Okay. Work is easy. I'm doing so much more than other guys. And think about it. I start work at about quarter to five. That's like three hours before most people are even waking up. Think about the head start I'm getting in a week. That's seven days a week, three hours. That's 21 hours a week that I'm gaining on people. That's nearly a full day. Okay. Or oh, that's nearly three days work, like three working days ahead. So if every week that you're working, I'm working 10. Okay. In the same amount of time, this is the power of this protocol. So put your freaking seat belts on guys. You're going to have zero second, blah, blah, blah. Zero. Do you know what? In the first round of recording, I got that wrong as well. I couldn't say zero negative self-talk. So maybe that's just, maybe that's one of my downfalls. So you're going to build this superiority complex, which is so valuable and it has kind of a negative connotation. But if you have this self-confidence that you will gain 
from stacking so many wins during the day, then that bleeds through to everything. On your sales calls, you're comfortable, you're confident, you know that you are legit. In your content, that bleeds through. Like, I hope when I make these videos for you, you get this positive energy, this positive mental attitude that I have, okay? I hope this bleeds through. I find it easy to stay consistent. Like, I never think about days off because I love having this protocol dialed in. I love going to the gym every day. I love waking up early. I love doing the work, okay? And you will learn to love this. And it bleeds through to finding pleasure from being outside of your comfort zone, which is where your growth is. You need to remove all attachment to that comfort zone because that's when you find the true progress. The man who finds pleasure in his growth will always become successful. Okay, understand that. So the process, understand removing weakness, getting dialed in adversity and becoming unbreakable. I'm sure you can all read, but I thought I'd say it out loud for you, just in case you, I don't know, you're listening or something. So understand who you need to be. If you want to hit the levels of success that you want to hit, you need to level up who you are today. Okay. You don't just hit those levels and then become better. You need to become better in order to achieve those levels. Okay. So write down exactly who you need to become and how you can embody that on a daily basis. Now this comes down to generosity. So you need to be able to give, you need to live in that abundance mindset. Whenever you're like, have the opportunity to give, buy people gifts, buy people dinner, you need to do that. It doesn't matter if you're broke, you always need to think I'm going to give because I know that the universe will give me back. Okay. Purpose over pleasure. There's, you don't need, you don't need like these artificial pleasures that people go for, like the boozing, the aiming for material things. Like it's all about your purpose and you're really going to dive, dial this in, in today's video. Okay. Your ideal self needs to be disciplined. Okay. It needs to show up every single day. It needs to be that role model. It needs to inspire people through his actions. Okay. Which is exactly why I post a lot on my IG stories because I want to show people you can wake up this early. You can do this much work. You can train every single day. You can put out this much content and you can give this much value on a daily basis. You don't have to, you don't have to have this mindset of, oh yeah, that was enough. It's never enough. Ambition. Ambition is a beautiful thing to be riddled with. Ambition should not be watered down. Okay. You shouldn't think, oh, I probably shouldn't aim that high. No, fuck that. Aim, aim for the moon. Okay. You need to be focused on serving and not taking. This is where so many people in my DMs go wrong. They say, oh, how can I earn this much? Or how can I like take this? It's not about taking from the market. It's about what you can give. It's about how can I give $10,000 a month worth of value? Okay. That is how you need to be thinking. Whether you get rewarded with the 10K or not, you need to just think, I'm going to put out as much value as I can. I'm going to be, become valuable myself by removing my weaknesses, becoming my ideal self. And then I know that the universe will reward me in some way. Living in line with your conscious, con consciousness. Yeah. So regret is a big thing. You get to the end of the day, you think, oh, fuck, I should have done more. Or when you hit snooze, you wake up later, like eight, nine o'clock, and you're like, oh, I wish I got up earlier. That is your fucking conscious giving you the guidelines of how to live. You always need to listen to it, okay? Never, you shouldn't live in a state of regret because that's just you saying to yourself or that's your subconscious saying to you, you're fucking up. You need to get your shit in order. Whenever you say you're going to do something, you need to do it. When you need to go for a run, like I went, I had a run on my to-do list the other day, got to like 8.30 and I was like, ah, oh, I'm normally in bed by nine. But I was like, no, I'm going to regret not going for a run. I know that if I went to bed now, I would just be thinking, Bill, you, you said you were going to run. You should have gone. So I went. Yeah, I was tired. Yeah, it was difficult. But I did it and I did not have any regret when I got into bed. And then think about what your ideal self's day to day look like. OK, does he wake up at nine or does he wake up at four? OK, does he do this much work? 
or does he just go to the beach or go to a coffee shop or go boozing? Like, what does he do day to day? Really outline that, make it super clear and then just live that day. Okay, it's super easy. Then when you've got that, you understand who you need to become. You understand the days that you need to live. Now it's about removing weakness. Okay. And it does take a strong man to look in the mirror and say, you've got tits or you're not mentally strong or you've got this wrong. You need to focus on this. It's not easy doing that. I'll, I'll admit that myself, but you can't just focus on your strengths. If you're absolutely jacked, but you've got fuck all income, you can't just be like, oh, I'm just going to go gym because I'm good at that. That's the fucking worst thing you can do because you just, you're like, you're a fake success because you're like, you're ignoring all your weaknesses. Okay. You're staying in your comfort zone. What you need to do is be brutally honest with yourself. Look at your relationships, look at your health, look at your income, look at all these different areas, look at your network, be brutally honest with yourself. Look at where you're lacking and then build the action plan. Okay. Again, like I said, listen to your conscience. Your conscience is the path that you need to follow. This is so important. Okay. And negative self-talk, like I mentioned earlier, is a poison. It, you can't let a single ounce of negative self-talk in because as soon as you, it comes in, it flows through your whole body. Okay. Then you get into that victim mentality. Oh, the world's against me. Oh, my situation is bad. So I can't do this. Oh, I can't do X. I can't go to the gym because I can't afford it. That sort of stuff. You need to fucking beat that because to, to get dialed in, to solve the problems that will reward you, with 10k 20k 30k a month you can't do that from a negative mentality you need to be in that positive mental attitude and this process is going to help you do exactly that when you remove weakness you prove to yourself who the fuck you are when you show up to the gym when you do that run when you go to that sparring session when you hop on that sales call and give it all you got you're proving to yourself who you are you're proving to yourself that you are your ideal self okay you cannot allow any weakness in your life there's no room for it on the journey that you're going on and this has helped me a lot if you need this if you need to just reflect book a hotel somewhere it doesn't have to be a five star or a six star whatever just book a decent hotel in nature ideally or by the beach and just get some isolation spend a couple of days thinking about this who you need to become where your weaknesses are okay and then build that action plan in the isolation. That's one of the most valuable things you can do. Step three, getting freaking dialed in. All right. This is my favorite. You look up dialed in in the dictionary. You see me. All right. It's just a link to my Instagram. Okay. When you, you, <laughs> you can operate at such a high level when you know how to get dialed in. So one of the main things is how you do one thing is how you do everything. If you're skipping leg day or you're cutting your run, run short or you're leaving a few things off your to-do list, it bleeds through to your whole life, all right? You, you cannot allow any area of your life to slack because it's true. How you do one thing is how you do anything. If you slack on training, then you're going to slack on business. You're going to slack in your relationships. You need to give it your all in everything. And having no days off, this is key. I don't like... People will be like, oh, you don't need to wake up that early or you don't need to train every single day. It's not about being optimal. It's about showing up every single day. It's about getting shit done and inspiring others to follow suit. Okay. Don't think, because when you're in that mindset of like, oh yeah, I'm going to have a rest day Sunday, you're automatically telling yourself that you can't carry on every single day. And that's not what your ideal self does. He shows up. This is fucking, it's 24, seven, seven days. Well, it's seven days, 24, seven, 365. Like this is how you become your ideal self. It's not a part-time job. Okay. You are literally becoming someone new. You are literally becoming your higher self. So why would you half ask that? Okay. Living lean has been a great help. So like not eating a lot, getting abs, being shredded. It helps so much because you're more confident when you take your top off and you're like, oh shit. Yeah. I'm in good shape then you have that confidence which bleeds through to all other areas of your life, okay? 
So if you can't see, if you can see your abs, lean bulk. If you can't, then cut. Like, just just get into good shape. That helps you so much because if you are cutting as well, you have way more energy, way more focus as opposed to dirty bulking when you're just eating loads of fucking bread and pasta and shit. You feel lethargic. You feel slow. You feel lazy. That is not what your ideal self feels. Okay. Train every single day. Like my split at the moment is just upper, lower, upper, lower, upper, lower, upper, lower, upper, lower. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I don't want to do it, but I show up every single day. Don't ignore cardio. As so many do. This was a weakness of mine and it's why I'm working on it so much now. I had to address it. I had to be like, you can't fucking ignore this any longer. And it comes back to how I do one thing is how I do everything. If I'm like ignoring the aspect of cardio in my gym, in my workout program, then I would have likely started to ignore other areas of my life, which I just can't afford to do. Same meals day in, day out. This helps so much. You don't have that decision of like, oh, where shall I go for lunch? Or, oh, what shall I make? When you have having the same two meals or three meals every single day, it's easy. Like for lunch, for me, mango, beef, avocado, dinner, beef and rice and eggs. That's it day in, day out. I love it. It hits my protein goals. It hits the calories. Boom, sorted. Don't overthink it. And like I said, the rest day mentality does not work in this game. You need to prove to yourself and others what you're made of. When you wake up and you're tired, the alarm goes off, your bed's super warm and comfy, and you know you need to go hit legs, that's when you prove to yourself who you are. You're a fucking man who can do all this, or you're just a little pussy who gives up when it's a bit when you're a bit tired. I hope you're enjoying this so far, by the way. I hope you're getting a lot of value from it. And I hope you buy me that iced coffee one day. So step four is welcoming adversity. Adversity is struggle, is obstacles, putting yourself under tactical stress. Okay. In the past, I took a lot of shortcuts and it led me down a very dark and unfulfilling path because I couldn't handle adversity. I was avoiding it at all costs. I was skipping leg day. I wasn't doing cardio. I was sleeping in because the hard shit was hard, obviously. Now I've completely reversed that and I look for new ways to challenge myself, like the daily YouTube videos. Like before I was, I convinced myself, oh, maybe you're just not a video guy. Maybe you should just do text posts or stuff like this. Maybe just emails. It's like, no, I know that the best way to grow my personal brand is through YouTube. And yeah, some videos might not go well. Sometimes I won't want to do them. It doesn't matter. Just remove the emotions, remove the feelings, okay? Add more challenge into your life because when you become uncomfortable, you lose the game, okay? you I've done this a lot, did this for a long time. I got comfortable. I got complacent. I got a certain amount of clients with my agency and was like, I live okay. I'll just settle here. I won't put any more work in. I used to be called at school. I was called bare minimum bill by teachers. Multiple teachers would call me bare minimum bill because I'd just do the, the, the minimum work to get by. I wouldn't push myself. And that was a weakness of mine. And now I challenge myself every single day. I can't afford to have any weakness or complacency because there's no room for it where I want to go and understand that this path is not going to be easy okay it's meant to be hard when you know that when you have obstacles in front of you but you can still stand the fuck up and show yourself who you are that's when you start to see the growth okay the shortcuts only negatively affect who you are becoming and this is the goal to create our ideal self and by taking shortcuts, by being complacent, by being lazy with our work, with our training, that creates a lazy person. You're not creating your ideal self. You're creating your lazy fucking fat bean by itself. Okay. Always think about this when you've got a decision in mind, oh, I really want a pizza, but I've got my meal prep in the fridge. Think about what your ideal self would do. 
think about what that decision of having that pizza will lead to, who that will lead to, more importantly. So a few ideas, cold showers, okay? I wake up, first thing I do is a cold shower. I don't really want to do it. I don't want to do it at all, okay? But I do it because I know it's hard. I know it's going to wake me up. And within 10 minutes of being awake, I've already got a win on the board, okay? Daily running, early wake up. Like when you wake up tired, but you still get up and do the work, you're proving to yourself who you are. And this is all this is about. You're proving to yourself that you are your higher self, that you are your ideal self worthy of that 10K a month. It's simple. You just need to prove to yourself by implementing these difficult things, by welcoming adversity into your life. The daily content, investing in yourself. Like when you invest in yourself, you put a lot of trust in yourself. You're like, I'm going to pay 5K for this mentorship because I trust that I will be able to pay this off with the actions and with the guidance of my mentor. Sleep on the floor. Bro, if you if you're finding it hard to wake up, just sleep on the floor. Because you'll when that alarm goes off, you're thinking, thank fuck for that. I want to get up and do something else than lying on a hard floor. Reading. A lot of people I know say, Oh, well, I'm not much of a reader. Reading's so fucking valuable. Okay. When you study books of great people who have achieved great success, then <laughs> I was going to do a Bora impression then. Um, <laughs> when you study these books, it's a shortcut, not a shortcut, but it's an insight into what they did to get to those levels. So you can't afford to not do that. Just do it. I don't care if you don't like reading or you see yourself as not a reader, just fucking read. It's not difficult. You know how to do it. And like I say, each win you stack proves to yourself how worthy you are. The goal is to just stack as many wins as possible. Okay, so when when your head hits that pillow at night, you're thinking, fucking hell, I got 25 wins today. I deserve this sleep. Everything is done on my to-do list. I showed up. I served others. I lived in accordance with my consciousness. I was aligned with my higher self. Then you are worthy of going to sleep. Okay. Step five, having an unbreakable mindset. These stacked wins that you gain have that snowball effect. Like I know I've got 10 wins on the board before people even wake up. Now that gives me that confidence. That gives me that superiority complex. And then it's that bleeds through. It's like, fuck yeah, I'm on a roll. It's not snowball. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And think about how much your life would change if even just 30 days of this, of getting wins consistently, think about not only what that will do for your income, but your self-image as well. I know self-image is a huge thing that young guys especially struggle with. Think about how that will improve when you know how many wins you get under your belt every single day for 30 days, okay? And like I said, ambition is a beautiful thing. You should be your best self. There's no reason not to be, not only for you, but for others around you. Think about who you're going to be inspiring, okay? Now, I haven't got a huge following, but I still get two or three guys daily message me saying they're inspired by the workload, the stories, the content. Like, that brings so much joy to me, okay? And seeking to find pleasure from not being pleased also helps. So knowing that there's still more to do, there's still room to grow, right? become, get pleasure from that, get pleasure from, it's like, oh, I can still do more, find that fucking exciting, okay, I'm so grateful that I'm still early on in my journey, journey, because I've got so much more value to give, I can grow so much more, life happens for us and not to us, this is a quote I read recently, and let's say something bad happens, okay, Now, you can look at that problem, that obstacle, from two mindsets. You can look at it from a negative mindset, where it's like, oh, the world's against me. This has happened. I can't cope. I need to go back to my comfort zone. Or you can think, look, life happens for me. This is an obstacle. This is a chance for me to show myself and the world what I'm made of, okay? Come at every obstacle with that positive attitude. This is happening for my own good. This is happening for my own growth, okay? 
And finally, if you never quit, you're always going to find the solutions. When I moved out here to Thailand, I didn't have all the answers. I still don't have all the answers. Like I, I got a one way ticket. I was earning a thousand dollars a month. I had about $800 in my bank and I was just like, I'm not going to quit. I'm just going to figure it out. And that's always how these things go. Always figure things out if you never quit. Okay. So let's get into the actual implementation of this. So add more adversity into your life. Like you know how to do this. You know, the things that people like myself, Jack, all those guys are doing on a daily basis, the running, the early mornings, the gym, the strict diet, the restricting pleasures, add all of this adversity into your life, Accept that it will be difficult, but this is happening for your own growth. You are doing this with purpose, with intention to improve yourself, to improve your life, to inspire others. Okay. Create your ideal self. Just open up a Google Doc and just write out the traits that he has, the skills, what his day-to-day -day looks like. Just create that and just get that super clear in your mind. So whenever you come to a decision, you've already got that of like, well, my ideal self wouldn't choose that path, so I better choose the other one. Get a set diet and training plan, okay? The same meals, honestly, guys. The same two meals every single day that hits your protein, hits your calories. It just makes life so much easier when I know that at midday, I'm going to be eating this. And then at 6 p.m., I'm going to be eating this. I don't have to think about that. I don't have to put that mental energy, that capacity into thinking, oh, what should I make? Should I order from here or should I go here? Boom, it's done. Don't even have to think about it. I can focus that brain energy on my content, on helping others, on doing whatever. Writing down your weaknesses. This might take 30 minutes. This might take a couple of days to write out your weaknesses. Again, if you can go somewhere, get the isolation. Just come off social media for a day or two. Just reflect on where you're at now, the negative habits you have, and then be like, right, how can I eliminate it? How can I eliminate these? A lot of it just comes from stopping doing shit. Okay. A lot of it will come from creating your ideal self because when you have that ideal self in mind, your weaknesses just go like that. Like for me, I've not had a drink. Well, it's not been that long since New Year's, but I rarely drink now because I like, it doesn't serve my higher self. Like I'm not drinking for another few months just because it's like, I've got so much shit to do. I need my focus. I need all of this brain energy, this power to implement, to help others. Okay. I miss one there. Service overtaking. Like I said earlier, you shouldn't aim to think, how can I take $10,000 a month from the market? You need to think, how can I serve the world in a way that will reward me? Okay. And I start this, I do this every morning. I've got a, um, got like this notepad and every morning I write down five ways I can serve other people. Like today, I'll see if, see if it is there. Today I am checking in with old friends checking in with old clients that don't even pay me anymore, but I want to help them. Um, buying some family members, some gifts. I am, I'm helping some more people. I'm giving to charity. Like those are the ones today that I am doing to serve others. Like you should never be in this state of mind of like, how can I take? Okay. You always just need to be like, how can I give the universe rewards you? So just think, how can I give? The universe might not reward you with money. It might just be the good feeling that you get. But then that good feeling, that positive mental attitude bleeds through to everything else. Okay. So yeah, do that. And then finally, look for ways, look for things to remove from your life instead of adding things. A lot of people think adding more positive habits helps, but there's a diminishing return there. Look instead to just remove. Have a really essentialist approach to life. How can I serve as best I can? How can I live in line with my conscience? How can I act in line with my higher self? Just do that. Don't focus on all the other stuff. Just have a very essentialist, adverse life 
that contributes to your growth. And some final thoughts, our vibe attracts our tribe. Okay, so if you are a victim mentality type of guy, if you are constantly asking for help, but never acting upon that help that you get, that's who you're going to attract. If you're ambitious, if you challenge yourself, if you live in line with your higher self, you will attract that type of person. If a man is right, his world will be right. Okay. Now every, these five steps that we've been through are about getting you right. Because once you get you right, your mindset, your routine, getting freaking dialed in, your world becomes easy. Your world becomes right. Okay. I really hope you understand this guys, because it's, it's helped me and so many others that I've spoken to about this. And our life's purpose is to just create the man we admire. That is that higher self. And then give that man to the world. You inspire others. You become that role model. That's just the goal. Okay. Now I started all of this because I wanted to be a role model to my niece and nephew. Okay. But now I have guys messaging me saying they're more fulfilled. They're inspired. They're working harder than ever. They're in the best shape of their lives. Like I just, I want to give my ideal self to the world. Okay. And that should be your aim as well. When you get into that state of mind, when you get dialed in like this, everything becomes easy. The online business, the content, the training, it's easy. Okay. So I hope you've liked this video guys. I'll see you tomorrow.